Good morning, it's Leisha here at Changing Seasons Homeschooling. And I just thought today would be a good day to give you guys a homeschool room tour. We have an actual homeschool room and we do use it, um, but we don't exclusively just use it. We like to homeschool lots of different places. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you some of the places that we like to homeschool. So this is our living room. Have these comfy chairs and our comfy love seat gets a lot of use for a morning basket and sometimes we read up here. And sometimes we get our lap desk and we actually do our work up here, especially if I'm expecting packages or um, just not feeling well. Let's give you a shot. Look, there's my cute little puppy. Okay, he's not a puppy, he's a doggy, but he is cute, isn't he? Say hello, there's Edward. So um, a little brief history here. When we first moved in here, this little nook and cranny that we got over on the side of our um, living room was actually our homeschool space. We had a computer right here, a shelf, a shelf over here, and that's where I kept all my homeschooling stuff. But we have moved it and I'll show you that in a few minutes. We're gonna walk into the kitchen. Excuse my um, outdated kitchen. We are, we've actually remodeled quite a bit of the house. We just haven't got to the kitchen yet. Eh, in due time, I'm gonna get done. So this is another homeschooling spot of ours is our kitchen table. We sit here a lot. Um, we eat breakfast here, we do Bible here, and we've been reading part of Bible has been the book in his steps we've been reading that I do my Bible study here before David even gets up I do a lot of computer work here for myself on the laptop and or <laughs> if you're a homeschool mom you know homeschool stuff gets stored everywhere I mean even if you have a homeschool room at least for me we still have homeschooling stuff everywhere there's our morning basket on our chair and I'm so we was taught so um, we got 11 classic games that um, has chess and checkers and oh, just all kinds of assorted games um, we played not too long ago. Um, of course my stack of um, grocery ads. <laughs> uh, my recipe book because I was working on my meal planning two or three days ago. I was ahead of the game people and worked real hard on it. Didn't get it finished just worked hard on it. Started making a grocery list. Here it is Friday and guess what? guess what I still haven't finished my menu planning and I have not finished my grocery list and tomorrow morning we're supposed to go to the grocery store so guess what I'll be doing today <laughs> finishing up right life happens so so anyway so that's this spot uh, very I think kitchen tables are very very multi-purpose regardless if you're a homeschooling mom or not because they just get used a lot a lot a lot so then i'm gonna pan kind of slowly over here we're gonna go down let me get some lights on here this is going down into our basement <coughs> and down in our basement we have our homeschooling room and <coughs> we have our nice fish tank over here this is, we have lots, it's a basement, so I know basements are dark. We have lots and lots of lights installed to make it nice and bright for us. And we have windows, we can open curtains, and get fresh air. Um, <clears throat> so we have our table. And let's see, David has his own desk. Um, last year, he actually worked quite a bit at this desk. Um, this year, We've mostly used it to store his supplies and stuff on, and he likes sitting at the table because it has more room. Um, these are just the backpacks in case we go somewhere, a couple of those. We have our motivational posters on the wall. We have just, um, since the presidential election is this year, I um, put up the branches of the government. Um, just little normal stuff world map united states map more motivational posters um periodic or yeah, periodic tables of elements lots of 
lots of I like lots of stuff on walls I'm just like that I don't like plain walls I like lots of stuff so anyway let's go back over here we was at his desk then here is one of our shelves just full of <laughs> if you can't tell I really loved the life pack it just was it's so easy to use it just it is so easy to use and um, all my kids liked it. They liked the fact that everything was in that little work text. They could read it, get it done, and they did learn. And we did um, go on what they call little rabbit trails when, first, especially for history and science, when you see something you really like and you want to learn more about it, well, then we would stop the life pack and get on the computer, go to the library, you know, whatever. But they come in these boxes. Um, and I cut the boxes down kind of like a magazine holder would and then they make great storage um, for books and stuff so I am I don't know I guess I'm a pretty creative little woman there I don't know I could though I've actually seen people do it with cereal boxes and they've actually covered them nicely with um, paper and I could do that and I may do that at some point in time I don't know it is what it is and that's the way it is right now and then we just got all our different resources books um, this is a well abandoned color by number we might pick that up again this year I don't know and then up here I've got our science like our I don't know I guess you'd call it our science center we got these different kind of rocks and uh, my son built a birdhouse a while ago he's got a paint our new microscope here I'm going to uncover that because this thing is beautiful we just got it this year. We haven't really used it, just playing around with it, but it's beautiful. And it is this wonderful, wonderful microscope. Very happy with it so far. Um, love it. Haven't used it yet, like I said, as for, but we will. We will. So I got that and all our stuff to go with it. And I, I haven't installed our typing instructor yet, so I just kind of set that there. Over here, I got the books that we're going to focus on this year. Um, and those are just like reference books and, um, and the Bible and stuff that we use. And here, these are, oh goodness, coloring books, craft supplies, school supplies. This is a, an art kit of his. He's had forever. We got another shelf with Play-Doh and paint, markers, uh, I don't know, crowns, just tons of stuff over there. This is my, um, teacher's kind of basket where I kind of keep stuff. I could very well organize it and put it here which I may do that but sometimes I like to have something I can carry along with me especially if I'm trying to grade or um, plan something out. So I can just put it all in this bucket and take it wherever I need to go with me so actually I do need to clean this out but then we have this shelf. Um, we have our big whiteboard. <laughs> We have this shelf and it's full of more supplies and magazines, uh, recipe books and DVDs and stuff that we haven't really used for school yet, but I plan to. Maybe uh, another empty life pack box. Um, like I said, I'm not affiliated or associated with anybody. Nobody sponsors me. I'm you know, new to this YouTube thing, but I will tell you we did really enjoy the life packs. We used it for quite a few years. In fact, this is the first year we're not using anything from Life Pack, and it's just simply because I was trying, I'm trying something different this year. Nothing wrong with Life Pack, I'm just trying something different. Our big whiteboard, um, at, when we lived, we used to live in a house, a four bedroom house with uh, an extra room, a kitchen, a dining, and a family room, and our extra room was our home school, and I used to have this hanging up, but since we've moved here, I really don't like to hang it up because then I can take it around with us when we need it. Um, and we got some more supplies. Just different supplies. Um, that one's actually pretty empty. Just, just, I don't know, just different supplies for crafts and stuff. This is my handy dandy file keeper. I just keep all kids school papers in here and then I have some binders with some stuff in it extra file folders um, I've got these are reading books these are for school these are for pleasure uh, this this is my row 
this is David's row for right now. And then this is actually I've saved it for grandkids and I have a grandson now so we read out of those. I have these two really cool kits we go we do some stuff out of extra supplies. Um, I have a homeschool mama come well a mama who is thinking of homeschool coming and so I just saved a couple things for her to look at um, so I'm going to be showing her those. These are my grandson's board books right now. A um, couple more of my books. We got the printer, more drawers, copy paper, uh, notebook, paper, just, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Our computer, um, where we do, st he does some schoolwork there. He plays games on there. We do business stuff on there, just all kinds of stuff. Of course, we have a snack tray because we get hungry when we're playing our games. We have a little fridge down here. has absolutely nothing in it right now. But we do keep waters and occasionally we'll buy pops or something to keep down here to snack on for when we're homeschooling. <laughs> you know, so we don't have to get that exercise running up the stairs. So this is, we have a sink and we actually have a toilet down here too on the other side. But this is actually our homeschool room. Um, this is where we keep most of our homeschooling stuff. And this honestly is where a lot of our homeschooling gets done. But like I said, not all the time. We're going to go over here. We have a, this is the rest of our basement. And we have a family room down here. And this is where homeschooling gets done. We will come over here on our cozy couch. I'll turn on the light and we'll read. Or we got a TV down here so we can, um, we can watch a documentary. Or we can play the Wii for Jim, you know. This, this has just been a blessing having this basement. We got... Behind the curtain? What's behind the curtain? A toilet. <laughs> so anyway, this has just been a blessing for us. It's, uh, there's more basement to see, but really it's quite a mess over on the other side. And um, I'll give you a quick shot. Whoa, there's a mess. Laundry needs to be done. You know, real life here, real life. So I just wanted to give you a show of where we do our homeschooling, which is pretty much all over the house, really, honestly. And um, we've even been known to do it in our bedrooms. Homeschooling, you don't have to have a dedicated space to homeschool. You can homeschool on your couch, in your kitchen, in your bedroom. So mamas who don't have the homeschooling space or the homeschooling room and you think, I can't homeschool, I don't have the room. That's okay, you do have the room. You have a couch, you have a, a couch, a love seat, a chair, a kitchen table, or even just a kitchen counter. Um, mamas with littles, you got your lap. <laughs> so I just wanted to encourage you to not worry about um, having a big homeschool room because I know you get online, and you know, oh, Pinterest and Facebook, oh my goodness, all the beautiful homeschooling rooms you see and you're like, oh, I wish. But, you know, don't always have to have all that. You don't have to have the glitz and the glamour. What's important is you and your child reading a book. That's what's important. You and your child connecting, that's what's important. So I'm going to sign off here and I'll say goodbye. This is Leisha. Please join us again another day for another um, vlog about whatever. If you have any ideals about vlogs you would like to know or see in my life or have questions about, you know, put it in the comments and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. I've been trying to be on top of everything. Um, I hope to see you again. Don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss any of my video videos. Um, so, see you later.